I am very happy of the presentation today of Father Grace's book in Comesse, and I welcome you all. Father Grace's book invites the world of business to consider the insights of Pope Francis in Laudato Si. He addresses himself primarily to those in this sphere of activity, but he argues that without the supervision of the political process, good business is subverted by the profiteer. This obsessive concern with making money is a matter of political concern because it leads inevitably to the exploitation of people and the destruction of the environment. It is also self-destructive. Pope Francis speaks of rapidification, a kind of mindless hyperactivity to which the world of business and finance is particularly prone. The recurring phenomenon of the financial bubble is the inevitable result of an obsession with profit above all else. The antidote, according to Pope Francis, is contemplation, which may at first sight seem quite removed from the world of business. Yet business at its best is creative and creativity calls for that standing back and being still which we associate with contemplation. The ne very name Laudato Si, praise you, reflects another reality which is missing from our frenetic contemporary culture. Praise is the capacity to say this is good, simply for the joy of saying it. When God created the world, he saw that it was good. And when we do something new, we are happy to stand back and react in a similar manner. In this, we are truly in God's image. In the world of the entrepreneur, this capacity to express one's joy in what has been created is important not just for the humanity of the entrepreneur, but for the human dignity of those who are employed in the enterprise, which results from the entrepreneur's achievement. Though that we see it is at first sight highly critical of business. Pope Francis condemns the damage being done to the environment by business corporations but he also speaks of business as a noble vocation. Father Grace builds on this perspective by arguing that the primary motive of the entrepreneur is truly noble, to achieve something of worth to humanity. While profit has its part to play in every enterprise, its function is to serve as a measure of success and not as the underlying motive. Father Grace makes a thought-provoking point about the influence of business on a wider culture. It plays a pervasive role in everyday life. Every time we buy what we need, we engage with that world and most people are employed by business enterprises. Because of this perceptive presence, the way in which business leaders understand their role has a profound effect on the way society understands itself. It also affects the way in which politicians and public servants see their role. In recent decades, the glorification of the profit motive has sent a powerful message to government. Stand aside and let business do what business does best. In the neoliberal worldview, 
What business does best is to make profit without regard to anything else, least of all to this planet which we all share. For the Grey Six common cause with those in the business world who see their role as harnessing the resources of the earth. Just as it makes no sense to harness a beast of burden without also taking care of it, in the same way it makes no sense to use the resources of the earth in a way which lays waste the planet on which we all depend. Pope Francis speaks from the perspective of his Christian faith, partly to encourage those who look to him for spiritual guidance, but also because the dialogue which is needed, if we are to overcome the challenge which we all face, cannot exclude any aspect of human experience. If the world of business fails to engage in this all-embracing dialogue, the hunger for profit at all costs will ensure that our common home is laid waste and that people throughout the world are exploited and oppressed. If, on the other hand, the world of business enters into the kind of open-ended dialogue envisaged in Laudato Si, it will have an irreplaceable role to play in human thriving. Thank you very much.